pretty excellent, Jenny. Sort of reminds me of William B. Yates for some reason, but really excellent. Sort of like Yatesy, that Yatesy quality, you know, the uh, the black hole quality, which like sucks all of literature into it. Yates, the apocalypse, found in 1914. Yes, I'm off on a tangent. Let me get off on a different tangent now. You've heard of bands like um, The Shirts and. You know, you know what a band of fun lovers they are, carefree individualists without a sorrow in the world. And then there's the shoes, and well, you know all about them. You know, they're just real snazzy, and they have a big shoe on their cover. And uh, perhaps you don't know about the hats. That's because they don't exist. However, here's a band that does exist, and uh, a good friend of mine's in it, Carl Hara, and they're called The Pants. So let's give it up for them, The Pants. Oh, sorry, I wasn't enthusiastic enough. Generals in the army of my head 
so what it could be another three hours before the neighbors with the boom box go to bed. So what my doctor says in another three weeks I'll be dead. I don't care. I keep looking for your face by looking at the sun and I'm going blind. I keep listening for your voice by going to rock concerts and I'm going deaf. Reaching for your lips by standing in front of freight trains and I'm getting lacerated, but I don't care. So what if somebody drops a bomb on my backyard? So what if my arms fall off and my baby maker dries up? So what if my mother calls to say she doesn't love me anymore? I don't care. Dreaming about your hugs and I can't seem to sleep anymore. I keep singing about your beautiful figure and I'm starting to get hoarse. I keep reaching for your face by uh, something. I keep, I keep, no, I keep reaching for you. I keep reaching for your skirt, which turns out to be a B1 bomber. But I don't care I understand priorities I recognize my needs I can't replant my garden If I can't locate the seeds Hours mesh together Each day is yesterday The cinematic minute The time you drove away I sound like a wider on the verge of an alcoholic binge. So what if I sound like a broken door swinging on a rusty hinge? So what if I sound like a human nail straight against the blackboard to make the whole world grill? I don't care. I don't care. Let me make this one thing clear. I don't care. Discretion is advised. <laughs> Our love is timeless and will last forever. For now. I'm not against human beings. And a lot of the good human beings will testify to that immediately prior to their sacrifice. I'm the wrong hero. I hear that you have to repeat things three times to you humans before you understand it. I hope you're not like the other humans, the other humans, the other humans. I went to my psychiatrist and he said that I was my own worst enemy. And I said, Is it the dress? And there's another thing I want to know about. Husky sizes. Husky sizes for fat People. When's the last time you saw a fat husky out there in the Alaskan tundra towing a sled with full of 500 pounds of drug contraband and God knows what syringes, needles stolen from Eskimos in order to like take the whole population of Aborigines? You never see a fat husky, okay? And there's another thing. 
People always want you about how come life isn't more easy? How come life isn't more easy for everybody? Why can't we do it make life more easy for everybody? We're facing all the population, so let's make life easy for everybody. It's supposed to make people want life as easy for nobody. Okay. In case you have a guess by now, I'm the wrong hero. I'm not tragic, I'm not comic, I'm traumatic. Gene Roddenberry is dead. Gene Roddenberry, the man who created Star Trek, is dead. And when I told these two attractions, he said, Oh no! You mean it wasn't real? Now we're gonna have to go out and have sex. Klingon style! <laughs> I want an irreversible course with no compromise with the stooges of big business. But that could change. If there's enough money in it. Tell us about the 12 steps. No, but I'll tell you about our sponsors. The wrong hero, in this segment of the wrong hero, and in fact, the entirety of the wrong hero's performance, which is the best wrong hero performance that you've ever seen or ever, ever likely to see again, because I'm going to destroy you all right this show! Now that you don't tell us about the 12. Well, one of the close steps is giving up nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide, we stand behind our product for as long as we can stand, which isn't very long because we've been overindulging in our product. And it makes the classic Sandinista sound like Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. You know you're really fucked up. Also brought to you by deodorant, deodorant. Deodorant that gets rid of the smell of your deodorant. So people don't think you walk around with deodorant on your arms, they eat better than everybody else. Well, well. Also brought to you by Doorknob Perfume. Your man just might come off in your hand if he wears Doorknob Perfume. <laughs> also brought to you by Bulimia. Come to Bulimia, the beautiful Anorexia Islands. The natives will watch you walk on the fine white sand in your bare feet for the natives will have stolen your shoes at the airport and will have eaten them in you. Bulimia. We'll watch you walk, we'll watch you walk, we'll watch you walk, we'll watch you walk. I think this will be a good time to give you my message for Japan. Message for Japan. Here's my back, stab it again, why don't you? Silence. Why do clowns have big feet? So they can stand still when I punch them, because I hate clowns. And I hate healthy food. You ever eat any healthy food? You ever go to one of the healthy food stores and eat healthy food? How can it be healthy? It's dead! <laughs> I hate Sandra Bernhard. Sandra Bernhard's lips are like some horrible alien emerging from a cylinder! Your spotlight is a poison! I hate your attempts to stereotype me! All of you! I hate Alaska! Alaska, come to beautiful sunny Alaska, where you can find a snowman in your elevator, greater than 64 days a year! I hate Jimmy Hendrix, a frizz-headed drug addict from Seattle! And those are his good qualities. We want you walk. My father's my best friend. Any of you fellers out there have a daddy? No. Good. Because the one I have masquerades as my best friend, Good. but hey, he's not a daddy Good. at all! Good. <laughs> sure, your dad's your best friend. Good. All of my best friends break every promise they ever made and expect to run my life in the bargain! Good. Good. Sure, my dad's my best friend. Dad, my blood type's B negative. Why isn't it an A? Dad, I was still by a B. Why wasn't it an A? Just to see if he was listening, I said, Dad, I came in second in a stupidity contest. And he said, Why wasn't, why wasn't it an A? 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 
You know what I'm thinking about, right? Go, dolphins. This yeah, dolphin is so yeah. noble and so smart that I can go fornicate with anything that isn't even human. And every time you see them, they're always in cages. That's how smart they are. I'll tell you what else I hate. I hate the scotch. The scotch invented golf, whiskey, and stinginess. Three foods without which not a century civilization could not exist. Why wasn't it in A? I was eating some mixed nuts the other day. Oh, I'm sorry. Multi-planar personality disorder nuts. <laughs> and reading your pitiful American history. What does your pitiful American history amount to? Cowboys. Cowboys. The semi-literate thugs of the Old West. Cowboys. Let's worship cowboys. Why wasn't it in A? My best friend is big. How good? All my other friends are afraid of him. I wasn't in any. He told me to say this. I hate waiters. There's the snide waiters off in their little cubby hole, and you gotta go up to them with a fire axe and say, Excuse me, genius, while you're off partnering your Nobel Prize acceptance feast, smoking eight cigarettes and drinking three cups of coffee. Can you give me some stories around here or what? In any. Why wasn't it in any? Why wasn't it in any? <laughs> and I hate the snide waiters. The ones that come up to you and say, Can I take your order? Well, I know that you are unaccustomed to gentlemen of pleasure like yourself and taking orders from anyone, least of all the likes of me. But yes, you can take my order and be dead for the bottom two, Lackey! Why wasn't it in A? And then there's the worst waiters of all. The friendly waiters. The ones that come up to you and introduce themselves to you as though they're some sort of special being and you're just a non-entity. How do you do? My name is Gerald. I will be your waiter for today. How do you do? My name is the wrong hero. The special today is shut up, serve me food, and live. Why wasn't it in A? <laughs> I hate 85 cent subway fares. Do you know what I do when I buy a subway token? I say, here's your 85 cent shoes. You, 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 you blood sucker. I will buy you tin horn chiselers right in hell. <laughs> Needless to say, I missed the train. <laughs> Why wasn't it in A? <laughs> was it in A? Why wasn't it in A? Anybody see that new movie, Hook? Why wasn't it in A? Good. Then I won't have to destroy you. I hate Peter Pan! Peter Pan gives me a Peter Pan! Why wasn't it in A? I hate Phil Collins. Phil Collins, the only man who would make Elton John look like Mr. Universe. I hate CZ Top. They're filthy and preteness. I'm filthy and preteness. How come I'm not famous like that? I look like Mr. Universe. I look like I hate Neil Diamond. Like Frank Sinatra like for a bunch of blurred out hippies. I hate like Billy Joel. Like Harry Chapin with all the conscience leaked out of them. I look like Mr. Universe. I look like Mr. Universe. I hate the Almond Brothers. One of them died in a motorcycle wreck. That's poetic justice. They sound like a motorcycle wreck. I hate the Almond like Brothers. Mr. I hate the band. I wish they'd live up to their Mr. name. They should be the band. I hate them. I hate the cars. They crashed. More poetic justice. I hate the cure. The cure is worse than any disease. Mr. Universe. They look like Mr. Universe. Look I hate CSNY. <laughs> B W F H. Boring white fat hippies. Who would all be unbelievable work for us? I hate Fleetwood Mac, a soap opera for potheads. I hate Gang of Four, entertainment. Some entertainment. If that's entertainment, you can keep it. I look like Mr. Universe. I, like I hate Pink Floyd. What was their biggest selling song? Money is a crime. Their biggest selling song. Do you sense the contradiction here? I hate Elvis Presley. I do Elvis Presley in my offstage act. Yes, I walk around with shit-filled adult diapers, throwing diamond rings into the 
front row. That's my Elvis impression. Can't fuck Elvis. Sure. I hate X. No wonder they go under a pseudonym. Are you actually? I hate yes. Music for people with no backbones. Or no, music for people with backbones who want to have their backbones circuit that are moved by music. Ultra sound. No get rid of your backbone and your virtual house. Spine it on vertebrae. No backbone. No backbone. And I hate Frank Zappa because he screwed Captain Beefheart. You are beginning to bore me. Why? Because you make me nervous. You make me nervous. And do you want to know why? I said, do you want? No backbone. <laughs> that too. Because you're
Thank you. We are a lot to do. Uh, before uh, before we go, we, we, we are clearing the room. We uh, have this will clear the room. Play the tape. It's called Uncomfortable Velvet. It's by the Thornet Wheel. If you'd like to stay for the Ivy League benefit hosted by Rock Against Sexism and featuring Bulkhead, Iris, Ruth, and Posner, there is a $6 cover which you must pay to stay in the room. Otherwise, please move out front. Thanks for coming to Cafe Cabaret. Have a good evening.